Grace alone is a phrase used to try to summarize the attitude, the approach to salvation that we find expressed by the great reformers of the 16th century, Martin Luther, John Calvin. What it's trying to do is to point us to the fact that salvation is entirely a work of God, both in its origin, its execution, and in its consummation. Salvation is something that God does. It has a number of aspects. Uh, one, it involves God's gracious and merciful approach towards sinful creatures, sinful creation. And the grace aspect of that is bringing out the fact that it's not something intrinsic in us as sinful creatures that makes us attractive to God or that merits God's merciful action towards us. Actually, it's, it's purely gracious on God's own behalf. He himself freely decides to act to save. He himself freely saves us. There's a danger, of course, that we can misunderstand grace, therefore, as simply being God turning a blind eye to sin or deciding to pass over the bad things, the bad thoughts we've had, the bad things we've done. Uh, the way the reformers understood grace alone was intimately connected to both the sacrificial system of the Old Testament, whereby God is merciful in and through his provision of blood sacrifice for sin, and then supremely in the New Testament in the Lord Jesus Christ, where God's grace is, we might say, literally manifested in the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ, when God freely takes upon himself the role of saviour, of mediator, of high priest, prophet and king on our behalf, dies for us and for our sins, not because of anything we have done, not because we are intrinsically lovely, but simply because God decides to act in this gracious and merciful way. So grace alone is a way of, of capturing the God-centered nature and the God content of the doctrine of salvation. Grace has proved very controversial doctrine throughout church history for a number of reasons. One, I think it's inevitable that uh, a theme that is so central to the Bible would prove to be very contentious by those who are wrestling with the Bible and, and what the Bible means. Secondly, I think it touches on uh, very, very deep issues in terms of how we understand God, how we understand religious experience. Your view of grace will be profoundly influential over your understanding of the Christian life and over your understanding of who God is. And these are things that sinful human beings will, will disagree and, and struggle with. Uh, perhaps the, the, the greatest controversy about grace was that of the 5th century between Augustine and Pelagius, where Pelagius, this uh, Welsh monk, took great exception to Augustine's understanding of God as sovereign and gracious because he felt that that was undermining the, the need for the great moral imperatives of the Christian life. It was making Christianity too easy. So it's proved a contentious doctrine, I think, precisely because it is so important. And your answer to the question of doctrine of grace really connects, reflects on, or, or shapes your answer to other great questions. Who and what is Christ? What did he do? What is human sin? What is its impact? Grace is a doctrine that stands right at the center of all of the big questions of the Christian life, and I would say all of the big questions of human existence.